What is up everyone? Welcome to today's reaction video and I've messed up. <laughs> um, I've messed up twice and I have to let you guys know about it. Number one, I'm so sorry. I said in my recent home free reaction that it was one of three home free reactions that I was going to be doing another one for Father's Day without properly looking at my list of requests and realizing that Terry, who usually mostly requests home free content, uh, had put something special in for Father's Day that was separate to her home free requests. And so it was, we, we've had the two home free videos really recently, uh, but yeah, I was wrong about the third one. So number one, I'm sorry for that. Number two, I miss Father's Day. <laughs> Y'all, in Australia, Father's Day is in September. Uh, so I like, I, I knew that America had their Father's Day like now, cause I was getting requests for it. And I even knew in my head that it was on Sunday in America. And I was like, cool. Somehow in my brain, I was like, if I film on the Monday night, it will come out on Father's Day. And I'm like, no, it had to come out on the Monday morning for it to come out on. That's how time zones work, Dylan. Why is your math so bad? Either way, uh, I'm sorry that I messed that up. I've spoken to Terry about it. She was completely fine about it and said she just wanted to get this in front of me because it's such a great song uh, and for Father's Day. So a very belated happy Father's Day to all the fathers of America. This one is a Father's Day song. I know nothing about it. I've never even heard of Brad Paisley, uh, but the song is he didn't have to be. Now, I want to start off by saying, as always, thank you so, so much, Terry, for this request, for being a supporter, for being the amazing person that you are. Terry has just undergone some knee surgery. So, Terry, I hope that you are healing quickly. I hope that the pain is non-existent and that you are going and doing track and field events in the next few months. I doubt that's going to happen, but I hope so. Uh, so, yes, I hope you have an absolutely amazing recovery and it goes very quickly. And I can't wait to get into this. So, we're going to get into it right now. As always, please check out the original video linked in the description below. Give it a like, give it a comment, subscribe to Brad Paisley if you haven't already. And this is Brad Paisley's He Didn't Have To Be. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, I, I, I always wonder this about that in general, is it common for the dad to just be like, no, you can't come in? I thought parent, like fathers were allowed in there with the bubbers, but okay. When a single mom goes out on a date with somebody new, it always winds up feeling more like a job interview. <laughs> My mama used to wonder if she'd ever meet someone who wouldn't find out about me and then turn around and run. I met the man I call my dad when I was five years old. He took my mom out to a movie and for once I got to go. All right, all right. First of all, first of all, Mr. Brad Paisley, y'all got such a good country sound. Like have, having that dialed in freaking, if you think of a country voice and a country sound, this is it. And it coming so naturally, that is Brad Paisley. He just sounds like if I picture a country singer in my head, it's Brad Paisley's voice right now. He sounds so right for the part. Uh, second of all, man is spitting straight facts. Uh, that what he just said there about the first time he met, like he, he, he met, he took, he, he allowed him to go on the date with him. He allowed him to go to the movies. You're going to win so many points for that. Like, sure. Mum might be looking at it as a, uh, a, a, a night out away from the kids, but if she's a single mum and she's like struggling and stuff, you can't expect her to be going and getting a babysitter just so you can take her on a date and go out and out of the town. Like she's a single woman. Like it, she's got responsibilities, man. You got to be willing to take that kid with you. You got to get to be willing to take the whole package and stand up man will. So absolutely love that. Like my situation with my stepdad is very different. We were already teenagers at the time my mom and my stepdad met. And like after my dad, my mom went years without dating. She was like, uh, uh, I'm done. Th no, thank you. E -e, not happening. And, uh, wasn't out looking for nobody. And it was <laughs> it story time. It was my sister and my stepsister knowing each other from school that decided to set them up at parent teacher night and parent trap them. And it worked. And my parents ended up going on dates and yeah, the rest is history. And funny enough, by the time that my sisters actually moved in together, 
being teenage girls, they were fighting. They hated each other and didn't want to move in together. It was a whole thing. It was so fun. But yeah, uh, so we didn't have that whole thing of mum going on multiple dates because, you know, she, she was like not interested in that. But she managed to find the one man that changed her mind. And it's, that's a similar vibe to this. Finding that one man that clicks right, that, that's when you know you got something special. A movie, and for once I got to go. A few months later, I remember lying there in bed. I overheard him pop the question, and I prayed that she'd say yes. And then, all of a sudden, oh, it seemed so strange to me how we went from something's missing to family. Looking back, all I can say about all the things he did for me. Cause I hope I'm at least half the damn that he didn't have to be. Um, first of all, screw you, Terry. <laughs> first of all, just piss off uh because you knew putting this one in front of me what it was gonna do uh yeah that was that the the line that hit me there was uh we went from something's missing to being a family and yeah i i i get that i get that um it's it's not very much an exaggeration to say that my stepdad saved our family um, not, not in, not in a monumental way. We were getting by, we were doing fine. We were surviving, but we weren't living. You know, it was, uh, mum, mum, mum was working like crazy just to get us by and doing a fantastic freaking job. My mum's a freaking superwoman and I love her forever. But to say that there was like a shift in our whole lives when Chris came into it, understatement of the century, uh, I will be forever grateful to my stepdad for what he did, how he saved us. And yeah, it's just this, this last verse here, um, about, yeah, the way he saved him and hoping he can grow up to be half the dad that is his, his dad is, I feel that I get that. Um, yeah. Wow. This one, <laughs> yo, I can't even, I can't even react properly to this one because it's just going straight to the feels and straight to the emotions. Brad sounds amazing, don't get me wrong, but I'm just so caught up in how gorgeous this clip is and how how beautiful the wording of it is and what a beautiful topic to write a song about because the step-parents, they don't get enough, they do not get enough credit. They don't get the credit they deserve, especially when you take in all the fairy tale stuff of like the evil stepmoms and that. Man, like if, if, you're, if, you're, if you're willing to walk into a situation uh, and you know, not only take on board the, you're not my real mom or you're not my real dad type vibes from moody teenagers, but like step up and be a partner with the person that you're falling in love with and take them as they are as a package, as a family unit. That's a special person in my opinion. That is, that is someone who's amazing. And I get that it's not always the case. I get there's people who expect too much of a single mom or a single dad and think that, you know, they, they don't, they don't look at it as a package deal, but the ones who do, they're damn special people. Cause I hope I'm at least half the damn that he didn't have to be. I didn't realize that was the last line of it. I should have guessed it from he didn't have to be being the title, but I hope I'm half the dad that he didn't have to be. That's. Damn writing, man. I met the girl that's now my wife about three years ago. We had the perfect marriage, but we wanted something more. And now here I stand surrounded by our family and friends crowded round the nursery window as they bring the baby. And now, all of a sudden, oh, it seems so strange to me How we go from something's missing to family 
Looking through the glass, I think about the man that's standing next to me. And I hope I'm at least half the day that he didn't have to be. Looking back, all I can say about all the things he did for me. Yo, how good is Brad's voice, though? That last little bit there, those notes he was hitting there were just gorgeous. I'm trying to bring this back to be about the music because I'm just up in my head right now, uh, full on reminiscing my entire life. Like, that is, that is, that is songwriting. When you are listening to a song and watching a film clip and it's got you playing a montage in your head of moments from your whole damn life, that is songwriting. I, I, I know what I said before, but Terry, thank you so much for putting this one in front of me because like, this is such a damn special song. And like, I, I've, I've mentioned it casually before in my channel. I don't go into big details, but I've never had the best relationship with my biological dad. I haven't. Uh, to, to have a song like this, I never knew a song like this existed. I, you don't, you don't get a lot of stuff like this. And we got a big family, you know, I have a stepbrother, a stepsister, my biological sister, and I got five adopted little brothers. We we're a big family. There's a lot of love that goes around. Um, but that's just another example of the kind of person that my stepdad is. And the kind of person that my mum is, is that they, yeah. Um, they've given, me a loving home. They've given all of our family a loving home and they just don't stop giving in that way. And this is, this is a song that I'm going to, I like, I, I have songs that go on my playlists that I listen to over and over again. And then there's songs that just have a special place in my heart. And there's going to be one of those ones. There, there are, this, this is one of those songs where I, it, it, it's, it's singing about something. It's, it, it's a song with a message that I didn't know was kind of missing out of my playlists, out of the music that I had. I didn't know that this was something that was missing that I connect to on such a level. And I don't know if that sounds stupid to say, but that's just like, you're here to listen to my ramblings. Uh, that's yeah. That's what comes into my head when I watch this is just that this connection in a way that, yeah, it, it's like I said, speaking to a part of me that doesn't get spoken to in other songs. <laughs> Looking back, all I can say about all the things he did for me. I hope I'm at least half the day that he didn't have to be. Because he didn't have to be. No, he didn't have to be That was such a soft, quiet, kind of tender note that I wasn't sure if it was still him singing it or if it was like a backup singer type deal. You know he didn't have to be was absolutely gorgeous that that i i don't have words for how gorgeous that was and i was not expecting to be moved to that level by a father's day song um yeah it's it's a the, the that song captures really well that it's a special kind of relationship that you have with your step parents because like everyone goes through that moody stage of like the, what are you even doing here? You're not my real dad type things. But at the same time, you eventually come to have the clarity that this is a person. And it's the same thing that comes with my adopted brothers. I, I've, I've said this to my oldest brother. It's a special thing to have one parent, let alone two parents that are there because they chose you because they wanted to be your parent. And 
whether it's because Chris has such immense love for my mum, whether it's because he grew to love me and my sister, which I know he did, whatever, whatever, whatever the kind of the pathway we got to be where we are. I'm forever grateful for the family that I have because it's, it's something that means the absolute world to me. And this song was just absolutely told a beautiful story in a perfect way and has absolutely moved me in a way that I wasn't expecting tonight. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys all enjoy as well. Sorry, this was a very different reaction to what you usually get, but wow, this one, this one knocked my socks off. It, 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 I, I was not prepared for this at all. And I love that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, please check out the original video that's linked in the description below. Give the original a like, a comment and subscribe. Uh, also leave me a like and a comment and subscribe to this channel because it helps me out so, so much. And check me out over on Patreon where I run weekly polls for the reactions that I do here on the channel. I also do weekly TV show reactions, a monthly movie reaction, a monthly live stream, and at the highest tier you can get a guaranteed reaction right here on the channel. So check out all of that over on my Patreon. I will see you all in the next reaction video. Have a great day, night, morning, evening, afternoon, whatever time zone you're in, and I'll see you next time. Bye.